Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to discuss another question on revolute and involute. So let's say the question is to find the equation of the evolute for the parabola given as 4ay equal to x square. So in such questions where we have got a function let's say in terms of f of x y or f of x a b something like that where we have the curve given so the objective should be a curve which is maybe of the form f of x y and some constants let's say equal to zero so we have to let's say if we find the center of curvature as uh, x bar and y bar then somehow we have to manage or somehow we have to manipulate things here and find or eliminate x and y and put it in terms of x bar and y bar so that we get the function let's say in terms of f of so eliminating x and y from the curve equation and putting it in terms of x bar and y bar that is the center of curvature that is how we can find the evolute of the Curve. So in this case, the curve given is a parabola, which is 4ay equal to x square. So let's start with this. First of all, for the given equation that is 4ay equal to x square, we can write this as y equal to 1 by 4a times of x square. So that from here, we can find the first and second derivative easily. So this dy by dx will become 1 by 4a times of 2x which is actually let's say we y1 equal to x by 2a similarly finding the second derivative this is going to be derivative of the first part so we can further differentiate this so differentiation of x will be 1 so we'll be left with 1 by 2a that's it so this second derivative or we can say y2 will be 1 by 2a now for the center of curvature with x bar and y bar x bar which is given as x minus y1 times of 1 plus y1 square divided by y2 will actually become x minus so this y1 was x by 2a so x by 2a times of 1 plus again x by 2a whole square so let's say x square by 4a square divided by y2 so y2 was 1 by 2a now you can see that we can get rid of this 1 by 2a from numerator and denominator so that we are left with x now if we distribute this thing left over here we'll have x minus x minus x times of x square by 4a square so that's let's say it's just x cube by 4a square so this is x bar and of course we can see this x and minus x gets cancelled so that we are left with x bar equal to minus x cube by 4a square if we rearrange we can say that uh, we have got minus 4a square x bar equal to x cube okay so this is the first part because we have to eliminate x and y from the equation similarly for the second part that is y coordinate let's say let's do it here itself y bar which is going to be y plus 1 plus y1 square by y2 this is going to be like now this y which we have already rearranged here from the given parabola equation this is x square by 4a so let us put it like that so that we can eliminate y also at the same time so x square by 4a y1 which was x by 2a so for that this becomes 1 plus x square by 4a square and this is divided by 1 by 2a because y2 was 1 by 2a again making some rearrangements this is going to be x square by 4a so this 1 by 2a goes in the, from denominator to numerator so this becomes 2a plus 2a times of x square by 4a square so making some rearrangements the first and the last term can be added together the like terms so this y bar becomes 3x square by 4a 
and we have also got 2a here so from here we can say that y bar minus 2a is 3 by 4a times of x square or else let's say if we are looking for x square we can say y bar minus 2a times of 4a by 3 is actually x square okay so we have got these two expressions like both of this are in now in terms of x like x cube or x square so if you have to eliminate let's say x then why not to square this one and why not to cube this one like both the sides so in that case we are going to get minus 4a square x bar square so square of this thing will actually become x to the power of 6 and cube of both the sides of this part will actually give us 4a by 3 cube y bar minus 2a cube so cube of this thing will become x to the power of 6 now we can see that we have got both the expressions as x to the power of 6 so we can compare the left sides of both these equations and therefore we will be eliminating x also okay so from here we can say minus 4 a square x bar whole square will be like from here this is going to be 16 a to the power of 4 x bar square and from here the cube thing 4 cube so that is 64 a cube 27 for 3 cube and y bar minus 2 a cube okay now few things a cube okay so this remains 6 and then 16 so this becomes 4 okay so this 27 can be taken on the other side as 27 x bar square okay we have a also so okay 27 a x bar square equal to so on the right side we are left with only 4 so 4 times of y bar minus 2 a q that's it so this is the equation of the evolute for the parabola given here so like i said the objective was to eliminate x and y and getting things in terms of x bar and y bar which is the coordinate for the center of curvature so that's what we did here and therefore this is the equation for the evolute of the parabola i hope this is clear thank you